Over een schot zeg. Christian Rasmussen. Het is al raak in de vierde minuut. Via de Deen Christian Rasmussen. Zijn uh, mijn stad. Zouders, ja. Ja, hier gewoon rustig. Uh, ligt ook goed. Ligt, uh, ja, dik bij Ajax, dik bij Schiphol, dik bij de stad ook. Dus uh, ja, alles is gewoon uh, ja, prima hier. Hiervoor woon je in Amstelveen. Wat is het grootste verschil tussen Amstelveen en hier? In Amstelveen is het, oh, was het een beetje uh, saai. Veel, ja, uh, yeah, er gebeurt niks. Ik was gewoon in uh, Denemarken in, uh, in de kleine stad uh, Lyngby. Het leven was ja, goed, gewoon uh, veel voetbal ook. En in uh, de kleine stad waar mijn vader en mijn moeder wonen is uh, het Biergerol. Het is uh, typisch uh, Deense, Deense naam. Gewoon rustig. Uh, waar ik woon was, ja, was dicht bij, uh, bij mijn school en uh, ook bij uh, mijn uh, oude club. Ja, hij was bijna perfect. Ik ging veel met mij. Uh, Vrienden naar, naar voetbal te doen, naar voetbal spelen. Ja, is wel... ja, ook met mijn vader ook, mijn moeder. En uh, soms met mijn zus. Was gewoon goed. Ja, yeah, my room. My closet. Ja, yeah, it's a nice view to, uh, to wake up to. It's, uh, it's always nice. I just, just wear a shower. And uh, get ready every morning. This is like typical Dutch. Just one toilet without, uh, without anything else. And then a small sink. And then, uh, yeah, this is just uh, yeah, where sometimes I game with uh, my friends, just talk to them. But uh, and normally this is for, for uh, yeah, if there's any guests or someone staying over. And then uh, the balcony. We're gonna say it's, it's, it's nice. When it's summer, then uh, I have sun here. From in the morning, I think from nine till yeah, I think to four, five, and then uh, when it's getting late, like nine, ten, then I see the sun over here, comes down, it's, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I'll describe myself as a player with a lot of qualities. Yeah, I'm strong, but I'm also fast. Like you see some players, they are strong and big, but they are not so fast. I think I have, uh, I have both. Um, I'm also intelligent and, uh, and good with the ball. Uh, I think my vision with the, yeah, for the game is good. I'm good at uh, finding my, uh, my teammates and uh, knowing what, what they would do, so I will pass that ball. I played right winger my whole life, so uh, I feel very comfortable there. But uh, I think also now I've been played as a 10 or as a midfield the last couple of games, so I also, yeah, I played there before also with the national team, um, so yeah, I also feel comfortable there, and then, of course, nine, I've uh, played a little bit, or a lot, uh, here at Ajax. But my best position would probably be right winger or, or as a 10, there, I can really show my, my qualities. Can you a bit of gewoon makkelijk dingen als uh, pasta of kip. En uh, ja, dan heb je ook nodig als ja, voetballer. Ik vind het leuk om te doen. Dan hoor ik een beetje muziek en uh, ja, een beetje ja, chillen. En uh, ja, ik vind het leuk. Ja, soms komen uh, Christian of, uh, of uh, ja, Jebbe hier naartoe. Dan uh, gaan we lekker ja, pasta of, uh, of uh, ja, andere dingen koken. Dan uh, vind ik ook mooi om. Ja, om het samen te doen. Hoe is het om op jezelf te wonen en dit ook allemaal te moeten doen? Is dat, ging dat makkelijk? In het begin was het een beetje, een beetje moeilijk, maar nu is het gewoon uh, easy. Maar ik heb ook uh, veel hulp gekregen van uh, mijn vader of uh, uh, moeder, zus ook. En uh, ja, ook mijn, uh, mijn oude gasten gezin. Ik heb ook uh, veel uh, met me gesproken.
how important is Tony Heitinga for you? Yeah, he's, uh, he's been very important and he's still very important. Uh, I remember when uh, I played with, I think it was the under 17s it was called. Then uh, he was the under 19 trainer. And I remember when I had some time trained with them, he uh, always pushed me. And uh, even though he screamed at me, it was only for, for good purposes. And uh, yeah, he's helped me a lot also uh, to be the person I am now. Uh, he believes in me and I believe in him. So uh, I think uh, we could match. What is the next step for you? You're a regular now at Ayung Ajax. Yeah, you get the uh, minutes at the Ajax one. So I have to show my qualities at the young first and then I have to get the chance at the, at, the, at the first team and then, of course, take the chance. I can't really point out, like, here I'm going to make my debut or, uh, or a date, but uh, I think it's about timing and uh, just being consistent at, the, at young and then uh, I'll definitely get my time at the, at the first team. What was the hardest part for you to, to live abroad without your family? Uh, Probably the language. I think uh, yeah, I had a little bit with the uh, with English in the beginning. Yeah, I could talk English, but uh, I was just a little bit shy. Yeah, then I had to like like get out of the comfort zone. But uh, yeah, I think uh, now it's uh, as I said, it's just a part of life now. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's easy. And how often do you speak to your family? Almost every day. It's not like it's uh, like hours but it's just 10 minutes or something uh, FaceTime then it's uh, for me that's also just good just to keep in uh, keep in touch just checking in for me it's no big deal but for, I think for my family for my mother and uh, yeah, and my sister then uh, yeah she they want to see me like yeah, if they could every day and how is the relationship with your sister well good we talk a lot uh, about things yeah she helped me a lot with the uh, things outside football and uh, what to do and what not to do because she's a little bit older, older than me. Right now she's 21. She's also very uh, mature, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I learned a lot from her. She uh, gave me some good advices. Yeah, what's the best advice she's given you so far? Probably just listen like, to your heart and to your uh, uh, family. I think especially also when, uh, when there's like, tough decisions to make with uh, either football or yeah, something else outside football, then uh, I think if you listen to your heart, then, uh, then I think that's the right, uh, the right answer. Is she proud of you? Yeah, she is. She, is. she says it a lot, but uh, she's proud. So, yeah, it's nice. So where do you see yourself in two, three years? Yeah, I see myself uh, at the, the first team as a starter. That's why I'm here, to, uh, to show what I can do. And uh, that's also why I export me. So, uh, that's, uh, that's the main goal. It's